His daughter's birthday was coming soon. Sung's mother gives him money in exchange for taking his daughter out to dinner. But Sung requires more funds. He steals his mother's ATM card. And steals all the money from his mother's bank account. He gambles all the money on horse riding and wins 4 million won. Some people kidnap Sung and severely beat him. Actually, Sung borrowed money for a business from them, for that reason they abducted him. When Sung checks his pocket to return their money, he discovers he has lost it. That money which he has won from the gambling. Then he recalls that he collided with a girl while he was trying to flee from them. That girl has certainly ripped his pocket. As Sung does not have any money, they give him a one month time. In that stipulated time, he has to return their money. Then Sung somehow arranges money and takes his daughter to dinner. Later, Sung reaches the station hastily. Out of luck, he misses the train. A man comes to Sung while he was waiting for the train. He was an unknown person to Sung, he doesn't know anything about him. That unknown person says to Sung, I want to play a game with you. He says to Sung that if you win this game I will give you one lakh won. Hearing about the huge amount of money, Sung agrees to play that game. After receiving a heavy beating, at last, Sung wins the game. It implies that he gets that money from him. The unknown person gives Sung a card and says to him if he wants to earn more money just contact the number. When he returns home, Sung's mother says to Sung that his daughter is shifting with her stepfather to the US next year. It is revealed here that Sung is separated and his wife is married to another person. Sung never wants his daughter to move far from him. He needs a lot of money to get guardianship of his daughter. So he calls the number which is present on the card. A vehicle comes and picks Sung, he finds that he is not alone in the vehicle. Later a gas is sprayed inside the vehicle. Then all of them get fainted. When he restores his senses, he sees himself in a facility center with 456 other people. They were in that facility as players, because they were wearing a uniform. The host and leader of this facility is a man who is referred to as a frontman. The games are overseen by the frontman, who is masked and dressed in black. There was one common thing, the people who were brought here had taken many debts. Soon meets player number one. He is an old man. He has a brain tumor, anyhow his life was also about to end, that's the reason he was brought here. There we see a fight between two players in which the girl was Se Biak and the boy was Jang. Se Biak was the same girl who has stolen Sung's money. Sung recognizes her after seeing her. He goes to her to ask about his money. Suddenly, some guards arrive there wearing a pink jumpsuit. Their faces were fully covered. The guards tell those players, that you all have to play a total of six games over six days. The winner of this game will win a ton of money. Their signs were taken on a contract that had three main rules. The first rule of this contract was that no player can skip this game on his or her own. The second rule is that any player who refuses to play will be eliminated. Which infers instant death to him or her. The third rule was if the majority of players are unwilling to play the game, they may leave. Later, they all were taken for playing the game. Sung meets his classmate Sang Woo who knows him since childhood. Sung gets shocked seeing him because he has gone out of the country for business. Now we see a massive doll for the first game. This game rule was very easy. Whenever the doll sings they have to move forward, when it stops singing, they have to stop their movement. If someone moves, he will be eliminated. At first, it appeared that everything was looking just like a prank. But when a boy moves he was eliminated by shooting him. It means they will be finished, seeing it, they all get panicked. They discover that they are in great danger. They were so terrified and panicked, so they wander. Now because of the game's rule, the one who was moving even after the doll stopped singing were finished. The survivors somehow complete the game. Later the dead bodies were removed, leaving only 255 players out of a total of 456. All players were scared now, no one wants to play the game. According to rule number 3, if the majority wants to stop the game, it can be stopped. They were shown the prize money before the voting process by the frontman. That money which the winner gets. But if they will leave the game this money will be given to the families of dead players. The prize money was a total of 45 billion ones. 
the voting is done in which the majority didn't want to play the game resulting in the suspension of the game. They can rejoin the game in future if they wish. They leave all of them in their respective houses. The next day, Sung tells the police everything by going to the police station. But they didn't believe in Sung. They think he is mad. Sung shows them the visiting card but surprisingly the number was wrong on it. After Sung returns home, he sees that his mother was missing. Later Sung notices that his classmate, Sang Wu was seeing his mother secretly. Meanwhile, Sung arrives there. Sang Wu tells Sung that he is very sad as he is under 6 billion in debt. He tells that he has put clients money in the stock market. Unfortunately, all the money was lost. Sung receives a call from the hospital that the foot of his mother was injured. Her injury became bigger, because of her inability to treat diabetes. The doctor tells Sung, your mother can be treated if we remove her foot. But this operation demands a lot of money. It is clear that Sung has no money as he has used the insurance money of his mother. Sung goes to his wife for asking money. His wife refuses to give him money. His wife tells her husband that Sung has come for money. Her husband gives money to Sung and says stay away from my family. Sung starts beating him, then his daughter also arrives there. Later, Ali goes to his boss for asking about his leftover wages. His boss refuses to give money, so a fight starts between them. During the fight, his boss's hand becomes injured and stuck in a machine. Citing a chance, Ali escapes while taking money. Returning home, Ali says to his wife to take the first flight and leave. Say Biak meets an agent because she has to shift her mother from the North Korea to South Korea. Say Biak is the same girl who has stolen Sung's money. Say Biak needs money to bring her mother here. She has a younger brother to whom she promised that she will bring their mother back and release him from an orphanage. Later, we see an officer whose brother was missing for a long time. The officer goes to his brother's house. He discovers his brother hasn't come to his home for the last few days. While checking the house, the officer finds a card there. That officer has seen the same card with Sung in the police station. The officer approaches Sung and inquires about it, but Sung refuses to answer. When Sung returns home, he again finds that card. Sung decides that he will join the game again, other people also join the game as they also need money. Later all the players were taken near a ship to board it. The officer also arrives there while chasing the cars. He kills a guard and throws him in the water. Then the players were taken to a facility center on an island. They have no idea about the next game and how will it be played? They make their own teams. Say Biak and Han go to the washroom during the night, escaping the guard Say Biak explores the facility. She notices the guards are cooking something in huge pots. Guard suspect and a guard comes to check the washrooms. Till then Say Biak returns back. Say Biak tells everything that she has seen to Han. But Sang Wu hears them while they were conversing. He inquires Say Biak about it, she tells him that they have seen something cooking in the huge pots. Then all the players were taken to the playground. There were four shapes in front of them and they have to choose a shape. Sang Wu comes to know about the game and what they have to do. Sang Wu tells Sung that they all have to choose any one of those shapes. After it, they were given a small pot and shapes should be made using it. That game is to make out that chosen shape some way or the other, without any damage, if the chosen shape is not extracted then they will be eliminated. It means they will be finished. Sang Wu easily takes out the shape. Sung's condition gets worse as he is very much panicked. But then he somehow wins that game. They were taken back to the rooms. Now only 107 players were left, out of 187. After that, they were taken to have food. Because of food, Jang fights with a boy. Jang beats that boy very cruelly and he finishes the boy on the spot. There we find a doctor among the players, he sells the organs of the dead people to the Chinese black market with the help of the guards. That is the reason whenever dead bodies were taken, they completely vanish. This all was happening according to a plan. Frontman is unaware of this whole activity. For this work they make their own man sit in the control room. He used to delete all the video footage inside the system. 
the guards give the doctor full information about the game. As a result, he is still alive. A guard tells the doctor, today we have provided less food to the players deliberately, so the players fight themselves. As a result, all the weak players will be out of the game. Later, the guard tells the doctor about their next game. Now the lights were about to go off after 30 minutes. Sangwoo knows that Sung's team will do something stupid. He calls that team and asks them to stay relaxed. The doctor joins Jang's team. Here, the doctor tells Jang about the next game. After it, the lights turn off and Jang beats everyone with his team. After killing a girl, Jang goes to finish Sabiak. But Sung saves her. The guards arrive and stop them, now only 80 people were left. Later, they take all of them for the third game. They were asked to make a team consisting of 10 players. They all do the same and make their team. Jang is aware of the upcoming game, he didn't include Han in his team. He makes his team consisting of only males. Sangwoo also makes his team, since they need a player they add Han. This game is actually tug of war. It means they have to tumble the team which is in front of them. Then the game starts. Jang's team easily wins this game. Now it was the turn of Sangwoo's team. Player number one, the old man says I have played many tug of wars in my life. He guides them to win that game. They finally win that game with much effort. It is shown that lights will be turned off after 10 minutes. Sangwoo asks them to be ready. They decide that they will guard one by one. Jang's team was consisting of wise players so he was afraid that his own team may eliminate him. Now the doctor and guards were taking out the organs from the dead bodies. Guards with numbers 28 and 29 were assigned to deliver these organs. They talk about a dead body having one kidney and they call it a zombie. Guard number 29 was none other than the police officer. He arrives there dressed as a guard and suspects their discussion. Because his brother also has one kidney. Then numbers 28 and 29 depart to deliver the organs. On the way, the officer notices that a bomb was installed inside the tunnel. The number 28 tells him when we all go out of this place, then the bomb will be detonated. The officer tries to grab more information from number 28. Number 28 suspects him and orders the officer to show his face. While showing his face, the officer also points the gun at number 28. The officer asks him about the man with the one kidney. Number 28 says, she was a girl and he also says that he can get all the information if he goes to the frontman's room. There the data of everyone is available. The officer kills the number 28 after amassing all the info. On the other hand, the doctor asks the guard about the next game. But this time, the guards also don't know about the next game. The doctor becomes furious. He fights while holding a guard and the doctor escapes after beating that guard. Later a guard also chases him and reaches a playground. When that guard was about to kill the doctor, suddenly the frontman arrives there and kills that guard. Later, he also ends the life of the doctor. On the way, he also finds the dead body of number 28. He knows that someone has intruded into the facility. Then the officer reaches the leader's room. While he was checking, he notices a room in which everyone's record was present. The officer checks and finds the record of the winners. There, he finds his brother's name, which means he was also a winner once. Later all players were taken for the fourth game. They were asked to choose their partner. The players do the same and choose their partners. Han also tries to search for her partner. None was ready to be her partner. Later each player was given 10 marbles. In the game, the player has to take all marbles from his partner. Without forcing him. The other person with no marbles will be finished. Sangwoo and Ali play the even and odd game. They have to guess the number of marbles present in the other person's hand. Ali wins nearly all the marbles of Sangwoo. As a result, Sangwoo has only one marble left in the final round. Sangwoo knows that his life will be ended. He traps Ali with his words and makes him believe that if anyone loses their match, then the match will be again held for the losers. Sangwoo by cheating changes the marbles of Ali. Taking all the marbles, Sangwoo gives them to the guard and leaves from there. Ali notices stones instead of marbles. The condition of player number one was deteriorating. 
he becomes restless and runs here and there. Soon makes him ready to play and they also start playing the even and odd game. The old man wins all the marbles of Sung. But in the last round, the old man forgets which one he chose. Sung takes all his marbles by trapping him in a discussion. But the old man was sharp, he kept a marble with him. He wanders again, Sung again requests him to play another game with him. The old man says I know you grabbed all my marbles from me by cheating. He says I know everything, but I was acting like a fool. Hearing it, Sung feels pity for him and gives him all the marbles. Se Biaok and her female friend were also playing games. Their game rule is, the one who throws all the marbles near to the wall will win. At first, Se Biaok throws her marbles towards the wall. When it was Se Biaok's friend's turn, she throws all her marbles as if she was not interested in the game. Seeing it, Se Biaok asks her friend to throw it again. Her friend says to Se Biaok that she is alone, there is no one behind her. But if something bad happens to Se Biaok, it won't be good for her family. As her younger brother is waiting for her. Later Se Biaok's friend gets finished. Their dead bodies get disposed of from there. They return to the rooms. Jang notices that Han is still alive. She was sitting carefree. Here it is shown that Han is also Jang's friend. They clashed for a reason. Han bullies him. Later, the frontman finds the ID card of the police officer near a dead body. Then frontman receives information that all his VIPs have arrived. The frontman goes to receive them. All VIPs were taken to the rooms and frontman later tells about the VIPs arrival to another man. He is the main person, we will know about him later. The next day, they all were brought for the fifth game. They receive digits from 1 to 16, the players have to choose their numbers, which means their turn will come according to their number. In the last, the first and the last numbers are left. It means 1 and 16. Sung gets confused at which number he has to choose. If he chooses the first option, he will be stuck because he is unfamiliar with the game. If he chooses the last number, it is possible that he will not have his turn due to the shortage of time. In between a man arrives and says to Sung I want first number. As I've never been first in my life. Now they were taken to a gaming room. The rule of the game is they have to cross the bridge in the given time. There were two types of glasses in between the bridge. One was ordinary glass but another was tempered glass. The ordinary glass will break when they step on it and they all fall and die. When the game begins, they get eliminated one by one. Jang was in front of all and wasn't moving forward. They have only one way, to move forward or to die here. Han comes in front of Jang and says I told you that, when you deceived me on that day, that I will kill you. She holds Jang and jumps which results in their death. There we see a man who has worked in a glass company. He notices the tempered glass and moves forward safely. Frontman turns off the lights when he knows that he is cheating. Now they cannot recognize the glass. As they don't have time for the last step, Sangwoo pushes that man. Later Sangwoo, Sung, and Se Biao cross the bridge safely. But due to the broken glass piercing them, they all get injured. Se Biao gets injured very badly. On the other hand, the officer has taken a servant's place after finishing him. A VIP suspects the officer. He asks him to remove the mask. But the officer says that he will remove the mask after going inside. Then the officer moves inside with the VIP. After moving inside, the officer makes the VIP faint and the frontman knows about it. The frontman sees the officer and chases him. The officer escapes and reaches an island. The frontman also arrives while chasing him. The officer tries to call his seniors. But the call disconnects. The officer again sends him all the proofs but no network existed there. The frontman corners the officer and orders him to come with him. But the officer fires a bullet at the frontman. When the frontman takes off his mask, the officer realizes it is none other than this brother. Later the frontman shoots the officer. As a result, he falls into the water and dies. Se Biak was injured due to the injury of glass. She was bleeding very much. Then the survivors were taken to the dinner. 
a knife was also placed near them. It means that during the night, anyone among them will kill someone. Sung notices that Sei Biak's condition gets very worse. He says to Sei Biak don't worry we are together and will defeat Sangwoo. After leaving this place and will divide the money. Sei Biak tells him that she has a younger brother who is in an orphanage. If one of us goes out, he or she must take custody of both families. Sei Biak's condition gets very worse she needs a doctor urgently. Sung goes out for help but when he returns back he sees that Sangwoo has finished Sei Biak. The next day, they were taken for the sixth game, which means the last game. The rule of the game is just simple, attacker must touch the head of the squid. This game's name is Squid Game. Now the game starts and we see a huge fight between them. In the last, Sangwoo's condition gets very worse. Sung says I want to stop this game. Sung asks Sangwoo to come with him. Sangwoo kills himself which results in Sung's winning the game. The frontman says to Sung that he has played well however he wasn't anticipating this. Then Sung gets dropped at his house. Now he has an ATM card with him when he checks it, he sees all of his money has been transferred. Sung moves to his house, but his mother dies before his arrival. The scene is then shown a year later. Sung's condition gets worse as he is addicted to drugs. He didn't use any money yet. One day a lady who was selling flowers comes to Sung and gives him the same card. He sees an address on it. Sung goes to that address. There he sees the old man who is player number one, from his words we know that he is the mastermind behind all these games. He is still alive, and the old man tells Sung that he was tired of his life. He framed all these games with his clients. So that he will enjoy the game while the people were dying. But he did not force anyone for doing this. He took part in the game because playing is more enjoyable than watching. He says the money you have is mine, after saying this, the old man dies. After it, Sung goes to the younger brother of Sei Biak. He drops him at Sangwoo's mother and asks her to take care of that kid. He also gives her a bag that is full of money. After that Sung goes to the station and he sees the same unknown person whom he met at the starting of the movie. Sung tries to catch him, 